Hey guys, it's Mr. Bison. First of all, well done on completing paper one. You've got it started now, so the ball is rolling, and I think people have thought this is a pretty good paper. So I've had a good look at it, and I'd say my overall reaction to this paper is that it was pretty decent. Of course, there were some parts that were challenging. I think a lot of students that I've spoken to found the differentiation at the end pretty tricky, and it was pretty tricky. But actually, it was only a five marker, and if you probably did the quotient rule to begin with, you've already got some of those marks towards it, so not too much for a worry with that kind of part. Um, I would say that there were lots of small markers, which felt quite unusual. That didn't what it, that's not what it felt like in some of the previous papers. So many of them were like one, two, three marks. There wasn't anything really substantial or really chunky. And I think that small markers are quite good because it makes you feel like if you get something wrong, you're still able to do some other parts of the question. You haven't kind of like sacrificed a lot of marks there. So kind of like what I mean by that is like even the like the functions question was just a lot of small ones and actually none of them were that tricky either. There was like a classic kind of exponential modeling question. Yeah, there was some other tricky modeling, like the one about the ride going up and down. I think that was pretty confusing, but actually the maths wasn't too hard on that one. Um, so it's possible the grade boundaries might reflect this, but this is only paper one. We don't know what's in store for us in paper two or in paper three with stats and mechanics. So I'm not going to comment too much around grade boundaries just yet, but I think this feels like I've said before, like a decent paper that you can really work towards getting a, a pretty good mark on it. Now, if you haven't seen it yet, I've done a little poll on YouTube where people can say how they thought the paper went. And at the time of making this video, only 12% of people rated it a one or two out of five, meaning they thought it was terrible or not very good. And actually 30% of people roughly are saying five out of five that it was an amazing paper. And actually 60% of people are saying it was good or amazing. So a four or a five out of five which I think is pretty interesting because when I did this uh, reaction video last year, people found the papers a lot more challenging, even though the students knew what topics were coming up in each paper. And I guess I'd, timed, I'd probably agree that this was probably like a four out of five for this kind of thing. So what I wanted to talk to you about next is what you should be doing between now and Tuesday. So I've gone through all of the questions that there are and I want to think about what might be the most likely things that will be coming up. So first of all, I'm going to list these things here. You might want to jot them down with a pen. I might put them in the description as well. But I think there's probably going to be a question on something to do with indices. We had some stuff to do with logarithms, but I still think there could be a sort of algebraic indices kind of question. There was nothing on graph transformations at all. So definitely expect graph transformations to be coming up. And obviously there was nothing on binomial expansion. I can't imagine them leaving binomial expansion out. So make sure you're prepped and ready for that in paper two. There was barely any trigonometry at all. I think there's likely to be two trig questions, maybe one like the harmonic identity with some kind of modeling situation, uh, probably some trig equations, maybe even like a trig identity one that's kind of all blended together there. Um, you know, things like double angle that you want to be looking out for too. They did have a proof question, which was towards the end. This one was a proof by exhaustion one. So I'm anticipating that it would be a proof by contradiction. And as I expected, the proof question always comes up right at the end. So if you know you want to get that proof one done out the air, uh, get that done very early, you can always go and have a look at that one straight away. Still hasn't been anything on modulus graphs. So I think that's very likely to come up. Arithmetic sequences, sigma notation, definitely some things there. And here comes the big bit, which is where I think paper two is going to be more challenging. There's been nothing on parametrics, differentiation or integration. There hasn't really been much on integration at all. And I think that's likely to be two questions where the one is just like a standalone integration problem and then one blended with parametric. There hasn't been anything on differential equations, which again, we know is a challenging topic. And there also hasn't been anything on partial fractions and partial fractions might be featured in one of those integration parts that are there. Now, I've said what things might come up. So vectors have already come up in this first paper, but I think there still could be some kind of vectors question in lots of previous years. There's been one vectors question, and then in the second paper, there has been one on a slightly different topic area. There hasn't been a ton on differentiation in this, apart from that last question. So expect something maybe with more normals and tangents, maybe sort of differentiation blended with some integration. And there also hasn't been any implicit differentiation, which is something that I think is pretty important that they're going to want to examine you on, so do look out for that. Also, nothing on newton raphson I think it's a maybe rather than a definite there. So that's kind of my take on what topics I think will be coming up. I think this is an ideal situation to be in. I don't want you worrying about the grade boundaries. I think paper one, what you want is to have a really solid first go at it. If it didn't go so well, you still do have paper two and paper three to be able to improve those marks. But hopefully this has put you in a position 
where you're feeling more confident and just sort of feeling like ready to take it on. So I'm very happy with this outcome so far and my students were happy with this. Um, definitely better than the further maths exams that we've seen this year. So if you do think of any other topics, feel free to put it in the comments. I will pin any of the comments that I think have got some really good points being made, but do just have a look through those because you might see some useful things as well. I am wishing you the best of luck in your studies. I will see you after paper two. Let's hope it's another good one. Bye guys.